Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm in the process of making breakfast this morning. Everybody's asleep except myself and Bailey, so I figured I'd do a video on this because I have it up on my blog, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but I've never done a video on it. This is Bailey's favorite French toast. Now, she loves maple syrup, but it always gets into her hair and it gets really sticky. So, I thought of this. Now, in here, in this bowl, is just your traditional egg and milk mixture. And I'm just going to take some bread and dunk it in here. And this would be a fun recipe to um, show your kids how to do. Now, um, in the frying pan, I have some... A little bit of unsalted butter and some non-stick cooking spray and we're just gonna fry that up like you normally would and it hasn't really come up to temperature yet so we'll be a while to letting that brown I have some butter off to the side just in case we need it we you don't want stuff like this to burn and it has a tendency to stick real easily to pans and stuff even if you use the non-stick cooking spray and this, that, and the other. So, um, this part is pretty traditional as far as your normal French toast that you make on, on the stove top. But what we do with this afterwards is not traditional, but my daughter loves it. So we'll be back and I'll show you what that is. Hi everybody, we're back. So this is, you know, pretty traditional for French toast. Whoops, I kind of got out of line there. Okay, so at this point, we're going to do something very untraditional. While it's still hot, we are going to put this down in a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. And we're just going to let that hang out there for a minute while we start our next thing of French toast. And, you know, this is really so simple, and I'm sure some of you may have already done this before. Um, but this is just something that actually Bailey came up with on her own. So while it's still hot, we're going to tip it over. We're going to coat it both sides with the brown sugar. I mean, the cinnamon. Whoops, I'm sorry the cinnamon and sugar mixture, shake off the excess, bring it over here, and then we're just going to cut it with a pizza cutter. Just like that. Now I'm going to continue to finish these up, and when I come back, I'll show you what they all look like. Hi everybody, so this is what the French toast looks like when it's done. Now obviously you can tell it doesn't need maple syrup or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit messy where it's a mixture of sugar and cinnamon, however, it's not going to stick all through their hair, on their clothes. So, you know, we usually, in my home, we usually reserve the maple syrup for weekends. <laughs> um, <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we usually reserve the, the maple syrup for weekends. Um, this is something that is quick and easy to do as, you know, before they go to school. You can serve this with um, some fresh fruit and maybe a, an egg off the side, whatever you choose. So, um, I'm filming these videos by myself right now. Um, we will be doing more regular videos. There's a lot of stuff going on with Toby and I right now. Um, a lot of things. <laughs> I could just have a whole video dedicated to everything that's going on with us. But, um, the long of short of everything, I wanted to also let you know that if you do not follow me on Facebook, um, please do. I'm running a contest, and... 
at the end of this month, starting in January, you're going to be eligible for um, a personal My Favorite Things gift box. And it's just my thank you to all of you v viewers and everybody that's supported me um, thus far. So, I'll put all the details to that contest in the description bar. So until next time, guys, live, laugh, and love.